We're not just looking at chart action in this video, we're going to do a deep dive into what is helium, why is it different and why is it so special? More importantly, why is the transactional value growing on helium? We said in the last video to watch for this break. We've had the break now. What am I looking for next? Let's do a deep dive. So first and foremost, you want to know what this thing does. What does Helium do? So it's a decentralized blockchain. It's powered by the Internet of Things. That's IoT devices. They've got partnerships with various companies and organizations in tech and IoT industries. That's to expand their network. Transactional data such as the number of hotspots and data credit used can be found on the Helium Explorer of their official website. So that's where we're going to dive into next is the Helium website. And this is the hotspot data. This is the hotspot map. So the more hotspots that they are around the world, the better, the more secure, and more importantly, the more transactional value that the network has. And you can see if we just zoom out on this, they've got hotspots all around the world. We've got predominancy in Asia, lots and lots in Europe and the UK, and then you've got lots in America. So you can see that the hotspots are growing around the world. That's the transactional value of the network. And then we can go and look at the network stats. So you've got lots of information on here. I highly recommend if you're invested in Helium to go and look at this. What we're looking for is growth. What we're looking for is steady transactional value on their network. And you can see this is the network usage within 30 days of Helium. And look how steady this is. You've got steady growth, steady growth, steady growth. And we're starting to make a bit of an uptick now. So what are the charts telling us? And the charts telling us this. Helium is currently trading at $3.50. So we've broken trend. This was the trend we were talking about in the last video. We were expecting this to happen. It's happened now. Anyone that's missed this, you've got a chance with the pullback. So you can see that we've broken out and we've started to pull back now. So how can you get in on the pullback? Where is price action likely to pull back to? So first and foremost, what we're going to do is stick our Fibonacci, see if we've got any kind of levels on there. Get rid of the RSI for now. Have we got any levels on there which are sticking points that we expect to hold as support? And if we pull back, where are we likely to pull back to? So we'll stick our Fibonacci from its swing low to its swing high. And we're going to look for see if there's any magic Fibonacci numbers that we need to hold. So we've come back down. This is a deep retracement. The retracement's gone all the way and breached the 786. 786 is bearish on a pullback, especially if we breach and close below. That's exactly what we've done. So we need to hold. 786 level now we've broken and closed above it this needs to hold on the pullback that is sitting at that is sitting at three dollars and 44 so we're nearly there now we're nearly there what does this allow for protections protections because if we know that this 786 does hold and price reacts positively to the 786 know that is a good entry more importantly we can protect ourselves below the low protect ourselves here below the low what does that allow for good risk management where are you shooting for on helium if you're a trader shooting for the previous high it's happened recently it's got a high probability that it's going to reach that level again so stick our long position on there what kind of risk to reward you get from here the 786 you can either do it to the close talk about that we talk about the close all the time. What's this represent, this candle? That represents a rejection. We've put in a new high, we've rejected down. So that's showing that there's lots of sell orders at this level. Candle come back down and it closed here. That's the more conservative level. So if you're shooting, this is where I'd be shooting to, is the candle close and not the candle wick. The candle wick represents the extreme high of the day. The candle close represents where price stuck at close. So, if we're putting our risk to reward tool in here, what does that look like to you guys? 6.22 risk to reward. Is that a good risk to reward? First and foremost, you've got a little bit of capital that you're putting in there and you're protecting yourself with that little bit of capital and you're shooting for a 6.22. So if we look at this trade, we look at this trade seven times or six times. If you hit one out of six with a 6.22 risk to reward, that makes you profitable. If you hit that once out of six, over a long period of time, that's consistent profitability. And that's what we're all striving to do. So give yourself a good risk to reward. Make sure, more importantly, you do protect your capital. And the highs of here on Helium is $10, $10 $10.05. So if you were taking a trade, 6.22 risk to reward, would that happen once out of every six times? Remember that, guys. You can lose this six times and win it once. And that gives you profitability with this type of risk to reward. So bear that in mind, guys. If you did find it useful, you want me to teach you anything as far as price action is concerned, trading psychology, let me know in the comments what chart you want me to cover next. And I'll see you guys in the next one.